you know, the first piece I ever published when I was 19 years old was about being light skinned. It was in a book for those feminist scholars out there. Everyone knows Gloria Saldúa wrote uh, or edited Making Face, Making Soul, Haciendo Caras. And she invited me to contribute to that book. It's used in women's studies courses. Gloria was, you know, a major figure in feminist theory and Chicana Mestiza theory. And anyway, so I wrote this piece and then I said, okay, I'm done with that. I don't want to keep talking about that. That's, you know, it's focusing on my identity is not something that I want to, you know, be my theme. And I sort of left it alone mostly. And then my daughter was born and she's multiracial and she's African-American, white and Southeast Asian. She sort of made me start rethinking what it means to be biracial or multiracial in this generation, right? Because, and same with your daughter, Neil, it's a totally different generation than the one that I grew up in, which was black, white, one drop rule, either you're black or you're not, right? And you sort of have to choose. You know, in addition to that, there's this huge explosion in the population. It's just, it's the fastest, you know, multiracial youth are the fastest growing population in the country. Something like 278% increase in the last 10 years or something like that. So I started thinking about it as a journalist and I was going to do a book as a journalist about this shift. And as we sort of pitched the the book around, publishers were like, "Uh, well, we like the personal narrative more (laughs) because I had a little tiny bit of my story in there. And the whole thing just sort of shifted over time and became a memoir, which I did not expect, but I'm very happy. It's scary because it's, you know, my first book that's not strictly journalism. It was a book that was healing and needed to be done, I think, for for me, for my family. And it was just, it was just totally unexpected that, that it would end up in this form as a memoir.